Right now on KCCI, you may remember this dramatic video, a police chase. It comes to, the end, comes to an end in the middle of Iowa State University's campus. A 19-year-old is shot to death by police officers. Good evening, everyone. Steve's in for Stacy tonight. This all unfolded in November of 2013, and now the city of Ames is working on a settlement with the family of the man who was killed. KCCI's Vanessa Pang has the story, and it's new. Nearly a year and a half ago, a young man was shot and killed over here on Iowa State's central campus after a high-speed chase by Ames police officers. And now his family wants the city to pay. On November 4th, 2013, 19-year-old Tyler Comstock had an argument with his father, James Comstock, and took off in his dad's work truck. James Comstock called police and reported the car as stolen. As you can see in this dash cam video, once police were on his tail, Tyler Comstock didn't stop, and at one point even rammed a police car. Just rammed my vehicle, Ames. Just rammed my vehicle. The chase eventually ended up in a patch of trees on ISU's campus. Ames police say Comstock ignored orders to turn off his engine, and Officer Adam McPherson fired six shots. One entered Comstock's head, another his chest. He died from those gunshot wounds. A few days later, Story County Attorney Stephen Holmes ruled the shooting as justified. No lawsuit has been filed against the city of Ames, but in February of this year, James Comstock filed an application for the authority to settle a wrongful death claim. The application says Tyler Comstock died, quote, as a result of the alleged negligence of the Ames Police Department, unquote. The document goes on to say the city of Ames offered a settlement of $225,000. Court documents show James Comstock was appointed administrator of his son's estate last April. City leaders referred all questions to the Bradshaw Law Firm in Des Moines. The law firm is representing the city in the case. Bradshaw attorney Jason Palmer did not immediately return our calls. Currently, the city of Ames and the Tyler Comstock estate are still in the negotiating process. We did reach out to Comstock's family and their attorney, but he said no comment. In Ames, Vanessa Payne, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.